YouTube, Wheelie Man here. We are today rocking software 2020.44.15 in the Tesla Model S with the full self-driving package. Uh, again, this is not the full self-driving beta software. However, this is the most recent version of non-beta FSD available. So we are heading to the store to go drop something off to get my uh, Jeep's getting a couple upgrades and just wanted to show you how the newest autopilot navigate an autopilot is working so so far so good very smooth uh started just a few minutes ago and no interventions to date um there was i, I did head up to uh, the santa barbara area this past weekend to watch the spacex rocket launch over at the vandenberg air force base and there were a few times when I was in the carpool lane like I am now, and for some reason the vehicle kept wanting to get over to the left lane even though there was no lane to the left. It would just turn the left blinker on, like for instance right now. Uh, clearly there's no lane over there to go into, but the vehicle would just turn the turn signal on for you know, the left turn signal to get over and there was no lane to get over. So I had to manually disengage the turn signal, but. Uh, that happened two or three different times on the route um, coming from LA up to Santa Barbara but other than that it was pretty flawless so we're cruising about 75 we're heading to Laguna Hills to the shop where I'm getting my Jeep worked on um, doing, doing uh, suspension upgrades for that and here we are merging with some traffic. It's uh, about 4 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon. And the vehicle so far is performing smoothly. Lane centering is as good as it ever was. Speed control seems to be a little more precise this time. Before there would be some a uh, lot more phantom braking, and I think I've seen some drastic reductions in that. So here we go. It usually gets pretty thick in the traffic right about here once we hit Mission Viejo area. And as you can see, the car is performing flawlessly, recognizing the traffic, slowing down, maintaining lane center. And it will change lanes, you know, as it deems necessary in order to increase the speed to my set speed of 90 miles an hour. So this is one of the biggest benefits of having the FSD autopilot feature. So, I mean, it's hard to see down there, but there's just a line and line and line of traffic up ahead. And just having the ability to set the speed Put it in autopilot and just relax for your your ride is it's really really uh worth every penny that they charge for this particular software so if you have a long commute out there or you just really don't like driving or you really do like driving for that matter um Tesla's the way to go. Instant torque, handles great, plenty fast, and if you really don't like to drive, throw it in autopilot and let it take you where you want. So I heard next week there's going to be a FSD Beta 5 coming out. I'm not sure if I'll be included. I'm not sure if I'll be included in that beta set of testers, but if I am, make sure you check back with the channel. Those I'll be posting videos for sure. While we're at it, go ahead and give a like if you can. And hit that subscribe button if you want to be subscribed to the channel to uh, see what I'm coming out with next. So we're cruising back up 66, 67. Freeway's starting to open up here a little bit. Cars are merging over. So there really weren't too many new changes with the 2020.44 uh, release notes. Pretty 
pretty much just had minor fixes and updates. So it's turning the turn signal on like it wants to get over. There's a truck next to me trying to complete the assist maneuver. My exit's coming up in 2.8 miles. I'm not sure why it wants to get over so soon, but when this Navigate on Autopilot feature first came out, there were several times when I would put in a destination and the Tesla would be driving in the carpool lane and it got over within, it, tr it tried to merge over four, you know, three or four lanes. And unfortunately it just initiated those lane changes way too late. And I ended up blowing past a couple of my exits. So uh, given the fact that my exit's now 2.2 miles away and we started probably right around three miles away getting over, that's, it's definitely a big improvement. Uh, Cause now you have a lot more opportunity to get over to your exit lane when you start your uh, lane changes three miles ahead of your exit versus uh, one mile ahead of your exit. So here we are cruising along 75. We got 1.7 miles left to the exit. Let's pull up the roof cameras here. Yeah, really nice so far. Smooth lane changes seem a little smoother, a little less jerky, especially uh, going from across you know three or four lanes of traffic like we just did. Really didn't feel any you know sudden jerkiness in the uh, in the steering from the vehicle, so that was really nice. So we have next is it coming? Next exit is coming up for us, Lake Forest Drive. Sun is setting. So we've got a vehicle come up here. There you go. And Tesla slams on the brakes to uh, let someone in. There you go. So that's how it handles merging traffic. It slammed down from, I don't know what we're going, 65 or something. Uh, slammed down to 37 so it uh, wouldn't crash into this. So we're putting the turn signal on to get over one more time. Looks like this lane ahead of me merges. So will it stop in time? Oh no, we're getting over, okay, good. So it can be a little dangerous, you know, we went from, I don't know, if, I'll have to look at the footage, but 55, 65 miles an hour down to 37, uh, rather quickly, I might add, it was pretty abrupt slowdown. So we didn't you know, collide with that Tesla Model 3 in front of us. And here we are exiting the freeway, going 70, now it's slowing down, 55 max adjusting. 50 max, and we're about to end navigate on autopilot here in 400 feet, turning on the left turn signal. Looks like there's a Model X in front of us. Okay, it just ended, so I'm gonna take over here to make this turn. All right, re-engage autopilot. Got a left turn coming up. Let's see if I can initiate the turn signal for it to get over. No, it will not get over. So I'm gonna have to manually get it over one lane. So we are stopped at a red light. Again, picking up all the cameras, all the cars around us. It's braking, holding the, the brake while the light stays red. Once it turns green, I'll just have to initiate uh, either by tapping the autopilot stock or the accelerator pedal to let, let's see how we can take this turn. Nope, that's right. So no city street turns available yet for non-beta users of FSD, but hopefully that's coming. So I re-engaged autopilot, it slowed down for that vehicle. It's now following this turn. Let's see, hopefully it can make it. 
we're gonna turn right here. This is my turn. Okay. Another turn coming up here. I manually took control over the vehicle now just because I don't uh, feel too comfortable with it. Go re engage autopilot. Got a stop sign here. Got a vehicle parked. And it just freaked out, slammed on the brakes, put on a warning light. Okay, I'm gonna turn right, we're gonna take over and do another manual turn. Okay. Another Model 3. Taking this turn. We're gonna make a left here. Let's see, is it gonna do the stop sign? Perfect, we got cross traffic coming. This way, this direction. Okay, I'll initiate it to go through. Ooh, okay, what was that? And we're here. Well, thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, like I said, please uh, remember to hit that like button. And if you uh, wanna see more future videos, please subscribe and hit that notifications icon. All right, everyone, hope you have a good rest of the day. I'll talk to you later.